Oh this dear, I will go. Yep. My hands are small, I know. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Cross Weird. Hi, everybody. Oh, Hi. Sorry, I need... I have emergency filing needs. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Speed Tech. Nice to see you. Hey, Dan. Hey, Bobka. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. How are y'all doing? Good to see you. Good to be here. Oh, thanks, AP. Thanks, oh, AP. by the way, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe this won't last because sometimes people unfollow, but or unsubscribe, I guess is what it is on YouTube. But my channel mm -hmm. hit 700 subscribers. Hey, a nice even number. Congrats. There's the sound. Happy oh, thank you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Watch, I'm going to go look at it and it'll be under that again. Let's see if someone unsubscribed. Oh Hopefully not. <laughs> that would be weird. No, it's okay. Nope. Anyway. Oh, thank you, Glenn. Yeah. Hey, bagel. Hey. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, hi, Kay. Thanks for the raid, Wade. Raid. Uh, raid, Hi, raid underway. Raiders. Welcome, Raiders. Good to see all of you. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. We can't promise it won't be a letdown coming from K's stream, but we will oh do goodness. something like our best. <laughs> it's almost exactly the opposite that we can probably assure you, but we appreciate you coming in. We sure do. Um, How did things Should I share the conversation going, we were having? Mm. Oh, Laser Sharp Kitty. Welcome in. It's so nice to have you. Um, I know that I've seen you in Joe's channel. Um, so, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a pleasure to have you. It certainly is. Thank you for saying hi. Um, again, same same disclaimer goes for Joe's channel. <laughs> Can't assure you that the, the vibes will be as good. Could they ever? But we do our best here. We do something like our best here, as stated. Um yeah. Oh, wrong stream. I'm also filing my nails, so sorry about that. I can mute if it's giving any. Who are you apologizing to? The stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, Everybody. <laughs> uh, Kay, how was your stream? Yeah, tell us. Thank you, Kay. I'll mute. Kay, do you forgive Momes for anything else? By chance? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I have a feeling Moms has forgotten about the moment in our stream a what? couple of days ago. I have. What? It... Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Whatever it is. 
<laughs> what? Do you remember Joe saying shots fired, Moms, in chat? I do, but I can't remember what it was regarding. <laughs> we were talking about flip it and reverse it tournament. And oh, you right. said something about not taking a long time in the finals. Are you trying to like stir up drama? What no, I'm just, oh my God. No, I'm just, it was funny. It was very <laughs> funny because everybody knows that's not how you meant it. Everybody but Joe. Yeah, no. Well, well, what I said was that I didn't, I felt self-conscious about taking too much time and inconveniencing anyone. And you were like, wow. I mean, it's wow. mostly Joe who's, who said shots fired. I'm just, this is on Joe. Let's be real. Okay. Please. I live for the Amard. What's that? Nice one, Tuki. Yeah, let's see what you've done there. What's that? Read it backwards. Oh, I see now. I see K. I'm so sorry for everything. Um, Dob knows that we started this stream by me asking if he thinks everyone hates me. So, <laughs> no confirmation <sighs> that he thinks at least one person hates me. Oh my! Yep, that's um, exactly what I said for sure. <laughs> anyway, speaking of drama, um, hey Cormagog. I just got back from a quiz bowl tournament. Wow. How'd it go? What? I don't know what that is. It's a quiz bowl but it tournament. Yeah. Like something for smart cookies. I'm going to look it up. Quiz bowl tournament. <laughs> Where's the friendship couples therapy <laughs> redeem? God, I need that redeem. God, can I just have some regular therapy, please? Nope. My, my therapy schedule's got all effed up with the holidays. Oh, yeah. And um, let me tell you, it is apparent. Uh, I did quiz bowl in high school. Oh, okay. Pull on who's the most hated. Oh, dear. No. Here, no I'll just do no. a poll that's do you Don't hate moms. Do or just do you hate me? Oh, my God. Don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> okay. All right. I won't for you, Dub. I won't for you. Thank it's you. a team-based competitive trivia thing. So is it specifically like a high school... Channel point um, okay, I see. Premier Middle School, High School, Community College, and National... College National Quiz Bowl Championships. Cool. That's a really cool thing to participate in, Cormagog. I hope that it went well. How do you feel about how it went? Um, I'm flashing back to being a competitive debater in high school. And I know tournaments could leave me very sapped. So I hope you're feeling good and not too drained. I hope you're happy with how you performed and all that stuff. You were a mathlete. Oh, you were the mathlete on your team. Okay, I see. So you like have a group of people who have a variety of skills. <laughs> I believe you despite the evidence. Um, she is Glenn. Nah. Nah. Um, okay, now I'll do a poll. Just kidding. For you, I won't. I can do the math. Other topics aren't my area of expertise, though. I'm somewhat the opposite, except no areas are my areas of expertise, including math. <laughs> Same. Uh, yes, I am a pesky whippersnapper. Why did you ask? Does whippersnapper imply young? Is that what you're saying? Um. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, tournaments. I haven't seen much of it. From oh, how similar are the tournaments to what? A ute. Oh, okay. We all tried to memorize a little bit of everything to be able to answer every question, but some people were better at geography, some at history, some at lit, etc. And I just did math incredibly quickly. Got it. Very cool. 
You were born after 9-11. Okay, quick math. <laughs> so no older than 22. Right. Okay, cool. I mean... Cool, cool. We have um, a community of many ages here, Cormagog. We do, a wide have... range. Yeah. And don't yeah, ask so who's at welcome. the high end of that range. How dare you? <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, thanks for sharing that you were at Quiz Bowl. Uh, that again, brought me back to times of, um, competitive stuff, competitive academic stuff. Debate. Debate. <laughs> yes. Being a debater. I, oh my gosh, I was reminiscing about that. I think I mentioned that, um, well, it doesn't matter. This is not worth. Oh, okay. You're 18. Got it. Cool. Well, good to have you. Um, yeah. What do you need to fish in Lake Michigan? Is that a Taylor Swift reference? Is that what that is? <laughs> abs- well, the Did second I just one get is, a Taylor Swift reference? K's. What are you? Are you talking about Tukey's or K's? I don't know what K's is. Is that the one that's a Taylor Swift reference? I know that two keys is. Oh, sorry. I didn't even see K's. Uh, sorry, K. No, two keys is the one I was talking about. <laughs> bait. bait. B-A-I-T-E. Oh. Bait. Oh, debate. I see. Hi, Dan. Hi, Babka. Here, I guess. What, well, Dan, what's going on? Did I hear whippersnapper? <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Great to see you, Dan. So glad you're here. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, got it. Yep. Cool. Mm. Caught up. Mm. Um, hey, Tukey, since you're here, yesterday we did 1996. Why don't you oh, yeah. give me a year if you feel like it? You're always very good at this. Tukey is always very good at this. And pretty as much well everything that I've, think, that I've seen in my experience, yes. I know. I know. Pretty wild to be around so many okay. smart so, cookies. Yeah. See what we've got. Also, Kelsey, are you here still? Um, I'm drinking. I forget if you told me about this or if I just picked it up and liked it. But I'm back on the kombucha bullshit. Is it bullshit? I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone have thoughts about that? Either way, I like the way it tastes, so I guess it's not. But it's the pink lady apple one. I feel like you and I have had many chats about kombucha, Kelsey, but... It's still kind of gross and kind of delicious. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Big live voice felt um, two ways about it. Before I met all the crossword people, I thought I was pretty smart, but now I feel worthless. Glenn, oh, Glenn. first of all, don't feel that way. And secondly, Bingo. hard agree. <laughs> I, I'm like, except for that, it's been a long time since I felt very smart, but it is interesting to surround yourself with a bunch of people who know a lot of stuff, you know, and who are just generally really smart. And I prefer it this way, but it does like, I don't know. Knowledgeable does not equal smart. That's also absolutely great to remember. I agree. But Others, I understand I, what Glenn is saying. I do as well. Um, yes. You know? Yeah. But again, I wouldn't have it any other way. I like being around a bunch of smart, knowledgeable, intelligent Clever, kind, um, creative is another big one. Talented cookies such as yourselves. I mean, I will so, say I, mean, I very much have imposter syndrome in this community because Of I, course, yeah. Because for many, for many reasons, but I'm a college mm-hmm. dropout. So like Yeah. And I'm old. And so many other reasons. I won't go down this whole list. Let me put the list away. Right. <laughs> I get it, though. But you know what? It's funny because I think 
like specifically crosswords i can say like there are so few people who are like set out to be crossword constructors right like there's will shorts and i don't know maybe sam azerski or something but um the rest of the whole crew is all like i don't know it's people who've just sort of stumbled into it so i feel like a lot of people probably feel that way who are in this community in terms of like people who turn into constructors and stuff like i don't know you know what i'm saying is that true i don't know do other people feel that um okay you showed up to mom's talking about i was i was mentioning um kombucha kelsey i'm drinking the pink lady kombucha that i feel like we've talked about before Yes, Tuki says intelligence isn't even a real measurable or comparable thing. We're all just we've all just practiced different things in our lives and have various ability statuses that all contribute to making us better at some things than others. Absolutely. Look at Arctim reference in chat. Um Wow. Okay. I'm so glad that someone redeemed that. Let me find the image. The beautiful art that I have created. Wait for it. All right, Kay. Are you ready for your question? Oh, shit. Where did I put the questions? Hold on. <laughs> Oops, it Kelsey, is Big Ken. I missed your joke. <laughs> mm, shit. Where did I put this stuff? Put it this stuff. Oh my god. Where did I put it this stuff? No, but seriously, where did I put it? I don't uh know. Oh, found it. Okay. Okay. Mano a piña, mano a piña. You ready? Uh <clears throat> your question. This is the second ever pop quiz redemption. Uh so this is the second question. Um which of these brands are owned by Coca-Cola? Which of these following brands are owned by Coca-Cola? A, Sprite. B, Pib Extra. C, Barks. D, all of the above. Only Ooh, for K. All of the above. Yes, k Light to borrow from... Mr. Joe Adult Man. Kay says Sprite. Is she correct? Kay, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Oh. Do you want to take a second guess? I have a feeling Kay didn't wait for the D. Uh, for the all of the above. <laughs> nice save. I, that's not. Yes. Nice, Kay. Nice. Uh, the answer is all of the above. Sprite, Pip oh, Extra, wow. and Barks. Uh, Kay, since you're so nice, I will give you a second question on the house. Wow. Uh, which of these are not actual Dr. Pepper knockoffs? Which of these are not actual Dr. Pepper knockoffs? A, Dr. Skipper, B, Dr. Spice, C, Dr. Bob, D, Peppo. <laughs> Which of those are not Should we actual write Dr. these Pepper out? Can you say them again? I'll type them. Dr. what? E, the doctor. Dr. Skipper, Skipper. Dr. Spice. Dr. Bob Peppo. Like that? P E P P O? Yep. Which of those All are right, not? Which of those? Real. Mm -hmm. uh, take your time, Kay. You think Dr. Skipper is not an actual Dr. Pepper knockoff? Kay, that's a great guess, but it is incorrect. Oh, no. Will you give Kay a second guess? Yes. 
Okay, take a second guess. <laughs> nice, Tukey. I can't tell if that's a joke or not, Tukey, but... Imagine being Dob, right? Isn't this you making these, Dob? Aren't you writing these? I am. I've written all the questions we have. Okay. Only only one is fake. Yes, only one is fake. All right. Kay, Kay. says, I think I have to go Peppo. Also incorrect. That oh. is a real Dr. Pepper knockoff. Wow. All right, so there's only two left, either Dr. Bob or Dr. Spice. <laughs> Peppo Pig. <laughs> the caffeinated Bingo. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Bagel, that's very funny. Bagel voice Peppo. <laughs> is that my niece or is that Bagel doing a flip it and reverse it? I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Peppo Bismol K. Uh, but your guess, Dr. Spice is correct. Dr. Spice is not oh. an actual Dr. Pepper knockoff. I came up with that one. I thought it sounded real. Very good. You have a real future in generic soda naming. Generic what naming? Pop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Kay. Sorry to the entirety of the Midwest. Okay, thank you so much for playing Pop Quiz. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year! <laughs> That's just the e. new applause. <laughs> I says. I says. Uh oh, hey. look at that. Dr. Spice. Oh no, Dr. Spice was real. What? No. It wasn't real from what I... Click on it. Oh, oh you God. think it's fictional? Okay. No, no, no. I think it's, it's fictional. Okay. Okay. All right. How dare anybody doubt all the time and fact-checking I put into <laughs> these questions? <laughs> Citation needed, as you would say. As I would, as I love to say... Um, uh, there are more questions, so what the hell is Scruggles? What Scruggles? Oh, wait what? a second, shop.sprouts.com, organic Dr. Spice prebiotic soda. Uh oh, but but is it a Dr. Pepper knockoff? Like, is it basically the same recipe as Dr. Pepper? I'm gonna have to guess that it is. Okay. Well, I shouldn't have trusted Ew. the one website I looked at. It has Jerusalem artichoke in it. <laughs> a what? It, it in the ingredients is inulin from Jerusalem Jerusalem artichoke. Jerusalem. Jer <laughs> <laughs> wow, interesting. Yeah, Poppy has a fake. Wait, it has. Poppy also has Jerusalem artichoke. Wow. It's fiber. Wow. Um. <laughs> well, thank, uh, either, you know what? Either way. Okay. Thank you for redeeming. I appreciate you yes. redeeming pop quiz. The... Stream Redemption sweeping the nation. One very occasional redeem at a time. <laughs> yeah, right? Well. You're welcome. Um, do you want to talk about what we're going to do today? Sure. Um, we are playing. Also, thank you, Tuki, once again, for giving me a year. We are playing Best of 1987. I do not know what's on the list. Uh, just to remind everybody, so something terrible comes on. I'm sorry. Just let me know to fast forward. Uh, all right. Wow. Did anyone else drink hot Dr. Pepper as medicine for a sore throat? That sounds no, like something tag. from like the 1800s. 
<laughs> like the original reason it was created or something. Right. No, I've never heard of that red keg. Definitely. We were like a ginger ale household or Sprite. Oh, yeah. For like when you're sick and whatever. Meet daddy. How? 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 Dare you? Um, <laughs> oh, I just got it. Uh, yeah, I love Dr. Pepper, but Dr. Pepper, like hot Dr. Pepper, does not sound good. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know I've never had that. it. Maybe it's terrific. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, just really quickly before we move on from this topic, I was trying to think what I saw recently in a CVS. When I was, oh, it was when I was getting that, <laughs> that orange Gatorade the other day, um, that shocked me that was flaming Hot flavored oh, and it was uh. flaming Hot beef jerky. Oh, I mean, I guess like that's fine. I don't know, but just, I don't know. Has anyone had that? I'm not. I don't think I would. Yeah. I would eat flaming regular flaming Hots. Yeah. I like regular flaming Hots. Mm-hmm. So do I. Yeah. Speaking of anyway. Saz, we said we sent Saz some flaming hots. We did, yes, yeah, some flaming hots and some regular Cheetos. And did we send? I forget. Did we send the jalapeno cheddar ones or no? Mm, I don't know. Remember the post office lady who shamed us for sending flaming hots yes. overseas and went on a. <laughs> Some like a short diatribe about people in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, you got your holiday card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it, oh my gosh. You got it today. <gasps> How I mean, long was that? Like a full month or more. That's not that surprising. I don't think. I got it. But I'm not, so yeah. glad you got it. Says. Yay. Woohoo. I'm very glad that it, it arrived to you. I think that concludes everyone's cards, except for maybe one. Or, well, people confirming that they got their cards, I mean. Anyway. Oh. Um, okay, so the things we're doing today, I'll just go ahead and say it. Okay. I know I'm rambling and stuff, so sorry about that. Um, but we are going to do the LA Times crossword, which is by someone named, I think, Michael Berg. Um, yeah. Then we're going to do... I can you hear my my pipes by the way? Can you hear that in the background I'm, or no? I, it's no, done now. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Anyway, um they just like gurgle sometimes. Oh yeah, mine like, do. Like really loudly. Do they? Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean them there's some problem there like with yeah. air in them that probably should be fixed. But yeah, well, yeah, I have that sometimes. Yeah, good luck. And when I say that, I mean good luck me getting that fixed. Anyway, um, so yeah, after that, we're gonna do um the AVCX Cryptic by Paolo Pasco that came out recently. I'm guessing came out um, last night. Yeah, edited cool. by our very own Steve Mossberg. Yeah. Oh, I meant to tag Steve. Oh no, t- Steve isn't on um Twitter anyway. Maybe I'll right. message to let him know. Yeah. Um, but yes, that's the plan. And then of course we'll do the B. But also in between those two things, we are gonna go over our clues day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday clues. Um <laughs> In fact, why don't we start with seven that? days a week? Yeah, Since actually it's from we can do it right now. now. Yeah. Uh let me set time. So if you weren't here yesterday, we did Clues Day, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, But then (laughs) we drastically underestimated the amount of time that everything we had planned was going to take. So and I had a hard stop to go to a yoga class, which, by the way, was exactly what I thought it was going to be. A bizarre number of chair poses worked into the most basic vinyasa class you've ever taken. Not that anyone necessarily cares. But anyway, it was it was nice. It was worth it. Anyway, um, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and vote. Yeah, and we're gonna read through the clues, clues and vote. Today. Here's here's the link. I'll go ahead and pin that real quick for just a few minutes. Is Giuseppe muted? 
No. Shouldn't be. Giuseppe? Maybe it's quiet. I don't know. Hmm. I thought I heard him earlier. Unless it's not working. Anyway, Moms, can you see? Uh, uh, no. It says you're not sharing with me anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, take two. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know what happened? Okay, there you have it. All right, everybody. A bunch were from yesterday, and then a bunch were from today. Uh, oh, no worries, Tuki. We appreciate the submissions. Um, all right. So this is for the word cosplay, which you should see on the screen, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and these are the clues we received. Uh, walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Cute. My head hurts. <laughs> Uh, spread together. Oh, cosplay. Incredible Sims blank. This guy pissed himself and immediately cried about it. The onion headline. Oh. Splay, but with a partner. Hey. Con artistry. What you might call it when three small children in a trench coat pretend to be an adult man. Whoa. Wow. I have a Wonder feeling that could be I understand to. the context. <laughs> uh, the 1870s version of this was seen at a party by Jules Verne in which some guests dressed as characters from Verne's novels. Oh, Interesting. neat. Uh, be seen in your favorite anime. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have read that as a question mark. There's no question mark there. Uh, create another identity whole cloth. Mm-hmm. Uh, substitute cosine for multiplication to get the gender bent variation of this costumed activity. Conventional photo subject. Honestly, there should be a large platform for only fat POC or gender nonconforming folks to do this, and the internet can die mad about it. Many smiling Aww. faces. Cute. The the only reason you'd spot Zorro from One Piece with swords he made himself. Mm. Recreational trigonometry. I wish I got. I that think one. that's it's cosine play. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a giant mecha robot suit. No, it's not blank. Haven't you Philistines ever heard of an emotional support Gundam? Hypothetical remarks read aloud in court during the state of California versus Kelsey Dixon trial for trespassing on a private beach. <laughs> uh, let's look at the results. Oh, the results are coming in. Don't forget to vote. Um, if you need the link, it is pinned. Yeah, and you have like vote five or six minutes like. to vote. Oh, or seven minutes even. Actually, I'll make that shorter since I feel like we've had plenty of time. Cute clues. Have I ever told the story here about how... One time I was cosplaying and I didn't know it in high school because at a thrift store, I was like really into thrift fashion at like in like sophomore year in particular. And I found this like handmade dress and um, yeah, I wore it around for ever basically. And then someone after like a year and a half of me wearing it, was like, oh my god, you like insert anime here? And I was like, huh? What are you talking about? And I had been walking around with this character's dress, and apparently they had similar hair to me as well, which is just wild. And also, it, maybe someone will know what this character is. It was like a maroon dress, and it had a big white circle, like right basically where it fell, like at the crotch. And I wore it home 
one time and my mom had had one half of a beer and she's not a drinker. And she just looked at me and just started laughing so hard. Oh. <laughs> Sakura. I'll look. Let me see. I haven't thought about this in a long time. Um, Sakura cosplay. Oh my gosh, is that it? It didn't look like... Maybe it was like a creative take on this. Because it did have that circle. And it was like maroon. But I'm looking mm. at... Sorry, you can't see what I'm seeing, but I nope. think it may have been a take on that. Yeah. Glenn, You're talking about what Glenn said? Yeah. Hmm. That is so funny. Good job, Glenn. You can look it up if you want. Sakura. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay, goodness. let's wait for this to end, because we're under a minute. Oh, okay. We do have a close vote right now. Anyway, that's the only time I cosplayed. Why do I sound like that? That's the only time I cosplayed. What am I saying? I don't I don't think you sounded like anything, but Oh, okay. It just felt like the wrong tense or something. Con artistry is so good. I agree. That's definitely my favorite. Can you scroll down says meat? Sure. How far? I don't know. Oh, I assume this is what you wanted to see. Ugh, I can imagine Tuki. Voting closed to go, everybody. And we do have a winner. And I have to assume it is Kelsey Dixon. Is that correct? <laughs> There was no name assigned to the submission, for what it's worth. Feel free to take credit for your clue if you'd like to. Uh, I happen to yeah, know who, who, who did con artistry? con artistry? Okay, we have confirmation that Kelsey wrote the winning clue. Good job. Um, oh, did Dan yes, do con artistry? Mm-hmm. Hey. Dragons was the Jules Verne one. Fun. Get a little cosplay history there, maybe. Yeah. Well, good job, everybody. Round of applause. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> How come Kelsey is so good at this? Look, we've all been asking this for quite some time, Glenn. Kelsey yeah. is just funny, okay? And this can mean so many things. Yeah, uh, but in particular, crosswords. Kelsey, why are you so funny, huh? Yeah, stop it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do today's LA Times. Yes. You say the let thing. Us. Oh, let me make sure we're on red. Okay, okay. We are. Let me get rid of Clues Day. All right. I think I just had an epiphany about why Kelsey is so good at crosswords. Okay. I feel I'm going to message her oh. and tell her it. Okay. Well, actually, while you do that, anyway. I'll just be right back. Just a few oh, seconds. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't mean right now. How's everybody doing? Gigi Kelsey, the goat.
Does any anyone have anything they'd like to share? <laughs> Kelsey, do you want me to message you? I feel weird weird saying it out loud. I don't know why. Oh, look at AP. And the dog. Oh my god, AP all the liquor. What the hell? Don't go anywhere near that pond. No, you're not in danger. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. You say the thing. Oh, here we go. All right, General Hospital for one, probably soap. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh care. Mind? Uh Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh bogus offer, maybe scam? Yeah, or sham. Uh wheel shaft. Axel, mm -hmm. admit, maybe cop to. Sure, Although, let in. Wait, what? Let in, admit. Oh, oh, sure, club. it could be. Okay, okay, alternative. Sure, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Latin bear. Ursa, right? Or I think so. Yeah, Outback think maker. So. Subaru. Oh, yeah, Mom's right? No, it was the legacy, but yes. Oh, okay. A uh, cosmic cloud that resembles a crustacean. Mm, cosmic cloud that Perhaps resembles... something? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, though. Uh, softball clubs, I assume bats. Uh, mm. S-A-S-E, perhaps. Oh, what does know. that stand for again? I don't remember what that is. Let's look at the downs. Something envelope or something? I don't know. Oh, it is. Self-addressed. Is it LTR? Stamped. Like a letter? Well, let's just keep going. Like I don't, I don't know. Don't uh, know. Quaff with sushi. Sake. Sake. Okay. Rice patty team. Oxen. Oxen. So what is... Oh, enclosed, right? Oh, it's often okay. enclosed. Alec Guinness. Okay. 16 across. Don't switch to memory foam. Oh. Keep. Keep. Let's see. Liveliness. That's right. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's look at these downs. Self-contained unit. Uh, so that could be an R. Oh, wait. No, springs wouldn't fit. Um, Wall Street announcement, IPO. Packaging measure, measurement. Um, Don't know. Mm. Signed, sealed, and delivered agreement. Uh, mm, can't think of it. Yeah, so maybe cop I. two is right? Yeah, maybe it was. Because, yeah, seven down no. is a, yeah. Well, it's an right. abbreviation. Right, right, right. Uh, 14 down. PC paste combo. Control P. Uh, keep. Huh. Dot journal entries. I don't know. I don't either. R&B's Drew Hill. Uh, still can't think of that. Vend sell, I assume. Uh, mm -hmm. nine digit IDs, SSNs. Let's look at this themer. Pray we can hold on to the smaller one, which is more comfortable than the king. Oh, so it's all mattress related, right? Some kind of thing. Uh, I'm not sure. Something uh, queen that makes sense with that. You, yeah, God That's saved a good guess. the queen, and it's not con oh. it's control V, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's Control-V. Control-P is print. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, nice plonk, Moms. Very good. Non non elective courses informally. Um, Rex, like required. Yes. Yeah. Laura Dern of the Jurassic Park films data transfer unit. Uh, mm. Data transfer unit. Uh, sign sealed and delivered. Still not, I don't know. Terabit uh, or something? This is Asti. Oh, it could be, yeah. Terra makes sense. Mm. Agreement. Done, de done deal. There you go. Nice. Seniors nest eggs, IRAs. Makes the first bid. Opens. Uh, dot journal. Oh, ideas. Keep it. Don't switch. Keep it, it down. Oh, it down. like down, right. Down instead of memory foam. Like a, what is a, NTWT? A oh, net weight. Net weight. Gotcha. Okay. Rain blank gum. Blow. B-L-O. Oh, I don't know. Rain blow. Remember that? We'll Maybe I've it seen it, but I just don't remember. Probably, yeah. Neb. Be Nebula, probably. That's what I was saying yeah, quietly in case it sounded stupid. Mm -hmm. Void, partner. No. Nope. <laughs> Void. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, Pastures. what did you I thought you said it right. I, I just said void and just forgot that there was a second oh. word. That's okay. Got it. 64, across creature of Jewish folklore. Uh, sculpting material. Maybe. Is that how you actually spell it? Wait, Coastal... what, is, what do those two have to do with each other? I don't know. You said it. 64 across. So is Gollum made of clay? Is that what it's saying? I don't know. Is that what you think? I don't actually know if Gollum is right, but I vaguely feel okay. like it could be. All right. Word with glasses or gloves. Opera. Opera, yes. Novelist who wrote the Odd Thomas thrillers. Dean. What's this? Coastal Raptor. I have no idea. Hi, Golden Girls. Be safe, AP. <laughs> uh, another themer. Let's see if you can plunk this one, too. Please double stitch the new sham. Um, something pillowcase. Jeez Louise. Well, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know if pillowcase is right. I hope it is. Let's see. Actors rep. No, that's agent. Yeah. Case, Case could still be right. Could be. Yeah. Background figures in video games, NPCs. Uh, high school class with a big reading list. AP Lit. Ellis mm -hmm. Island. Nick Nolte. Uh, Vice President under 45 down. I assume Agnew. Uh, President. That's Nixon. Uh, Rackets. Dins. Uh, EXE. Back album with the single Where It's At. Odele, I think. Right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what could this something case? Please double stitch the new sham. Huh. Big cat hmm. in Life of Pi. That's Tiger. Um. Oh, build a strong case. Make a strong case is what it is. Oh, nice. Good job. Uh, bro. Is this... Uh, <laughs> brunch staple <laughs> place to Sorry, watch the way you just said bruh <laughs> <laughs> I was place actually a little to afraid watch for a second greyhounds there. yeah I don't know what my uh, deal is it's, it's okay uh, place to watch greyhounds bus yeah place bus <laughs> bus, bus stop bus station bus stoop. depot i feel like sometimes okay let's go with depot I don't know. uh mammoth is huge 
actor Corey Haim, poet of ancient Rome, Enid? Ovid. I I mean, Ovid is what I, that's actually what I said. Conjures, Mm -hmm. evokes, maybe? Mm Mm-hmm. C-59 across, with 48 across, one who is eventually successful. Late Hmm. bloomer. Oh. Okay, bloomer. (laughs) Uh, Dean Koontz, right? I think that's a person. Yeah, probably. So I think earn, maybe. Uh, Daring is bold. Sow yeah. sound is oink. Uh, Liam Neeson DMZ stretches between forces. Yes. Oh, nighttime heart to heart. That's taken literally in this puzzle. Puzzle. Pillow talk. Puzzle. Uh, cute. Uh, buttery is perhaps rich. Finding Dory sent rich. You are in the puzzle. Yeah, Gender fluid pronoun. Little. They director Spike Lee. Waterfalls trio. Peru's capital Liga, right? No, Lima. Lima. God, what's Liga? Is that a place? No, Riga. La Liga? Is oh, that and then La Liga is a term. I'm wrong in so many ways. Cut out early is Bail. Uh, Zhao Long blank soup dumpling. Bao. Probably bow, yeah. Yep. Okay, you're in the puzzle. Oh, okay. Okay. You're in the puzzle. GG, cute theme. Yeah, this was really cute. Keep it down. What kind of pillows does everyone prefer? I do prefer a down pillow, personally. I have gone through so many with because of my neck injury. I need something very specific. It took me a very long time. I have one now that it's working really well for me. I don't mm, wake up with cool. a ton of neck pain. Some, many of them I do, uh, yeah. but it's a combination of materials, including uh, memory foam. You've never found pills you like, Tuki. Is anyone here a stomach sleeper? The rare stomach sleeper. One of my I'm besties not. is, and every time I've we have sometimes visited her mom, and we sleep in her mom's basement in a bed, and. Every time I wake up, she is sleeping on her stomach and also somehow cuddling me with like her arm and her leg. Aww. Like, in yeah, it's actually really annoying to be honest, but um, because she's just like sprawled anyway, but it's it's all good. Side sleeper, I'm a side sleeper too. I always start on my side and end up on my back and wake up on my back. Oh, nice slug. Yeah, I don't like like a big thick pillow. I like down because I can kind of like nestle into the middle of it and like yeah. Anyway. Yeah, for me the most comfortable are not necessarily the ones I have to I end up using. Right, right, right. It's more about how I wake up feeling. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I have like I don't know at this point I still have like several different expensive pillows that I've tried. Yeah. Anyway. Um, cute theme. A nice job. Talk for you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. We have a thing for that. Very good. But also, <laughs> <laughs> somehow also anyway. that. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. I liked it. Uh, yeah, cute stuff. Uh, well, we are gonna do Ooh. a cryptic and very exciting. Yay. Whenever we get to do a Paolo puzzle. Uh, especially Apollo Cryptic. It is a treat. Yeah. Let's read the intro real quick as we dive into the precariously into the cross weird inbox. Oh yeah. Uh, the intro says, "Hello all. Hi. We're thrilled to bring you another cryptic this evening from the ever fresh and funny Paolo Pasco. Mm-hmm. Paolo's been regaling us with some awesome cryptics these past couple of years. Go back and check out." His last variety cryptic for ABCX, if you haven't yet. And I believe we did that one. And we're happy to say you'll be getting all the tricks and laughs you've come to expect from him in this one, too. Oh, bye, Feathers. We'll yeah. miss you, but 
I'm excited Open, to you watch. Too, I, if you do this on stream, I will look forward to watching. But if not, good luck. Mm-hmm. Uh, same to you, Tuki. Uh, from our constructor, Paolo just got back from the MIT mystery hunt and is glad his team's second place finish means that they don't have to write next year's hunt. Oh, is that what happens? Is that like a normal, a usual thing? Oh, that would be. Oh, the first place team has to write the next one? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Uh, he'd like to extend a thousand thanks to Steve for his hands-on edits, an Ooh. expert hand in really tightening up the clues, and to the AVC cryptic team in general for having him back, even though he wrote a puzzle about clowns last time. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoy the puzzle scene next time. Happy solving, Steve and the team. Very good. You know what? Yes. I love that idea of having Paolo, who has such a like free and easy style, I feel like, you know, in... Not that it's not clean, but like, I don't know. Paolo has a very natural voice, very funny. Like, plus Steve, who's like a real, real stickler for. Um, yeah, somehow, for like a. Co- stuff. Yeah, that combination. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, you're I'm saying. excited to see what this is going to be like. I am as well. Let's do it. Uh, so, this yeah. is going to be on red, but if you are sticking around, we appreciate it. And also, if you're solving along with us, Solving at home, if you will. Uh, give us G in chat when you have one. But please, oh, no answers. What? Yes? What? I just remembered. I'm going to quickly just message. Um, Steve? Steve. Because I feel like he likes to pop Was Paolo tagged, PM I assume? Him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, Slug, good luck to you as well. Is anybody still here? Okay. <laughs> yes, Mead is still here and would like to skip the song. Sure, I'm fine with that. Seems awfully long. Uh, okay, let's do this. You ready, Moms? Okay. You want to start with this long one or start with shorter ones? I know I usually go I with shorter ones, but I'm also Whatever fine. Whatever you want is fine. Okay. One across. Quiet, says Disney villain in slatted sunglasses. Oh. Okay. In. Quiet obviously yeah. be P. So maybe slatted sunglasses is a straight def? I don't know, though. Mm, 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 mm. I have no idea. Hi, Eve. Welcome oh, back. Oh, hi, we Eve. Did, you missed... Oh, we yeah, read clues from yesterday. Uh, we did the LA Times puzzle. We made various... Jokes that may or may not have been funny. Nice job, Meany. Uh, quiet. Why? I have no... Yeah, it says. I'm starting to wonder if the straight stuff is Disney villain in slatted sunglasses. Oh. Given, the, given Glenn godding it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right away. I mean... And also meet on a, on a guaf. Was Joe Adultman here to hear my clue? I don't know. I don't think he said I don't anything. Think he, I don't think he was, Eve. I think he might have stepped away, but we'll make sure he sees it. I head La Bamba and thought I should drop in. I assume that's you know heard because that that's the song that's playing. Oh, currently. oh, oh, oh. Okay. From 1987. Got it. Cute. Hi, Steve. Um... Yes. Okay. So let's let's explain it. So Kitty, um, saying G in the chat, like something like G one, would mean that you got the answer for one across. So since we're on a red light, you know, people don't just put the answer in the chat. So in order to just sort of interact and let us know how you're solving, you can say G one or something like that. And then more recently, 
um, Joe, I don't know exactly how this came to be, but it was in Joe's stream. Um, people have started saying guaf. So G got it <laughs> on a waf. And waf is um, an acronym that basically means that you you got it from guessing at the straight definition, but you don't have any idea what the cryptic part is. So you're just, you see a word that fits and it fits with one of the definitions. So guaf now, G waf means that you have the waf of it. And then garse <laughs> means <laughs> oh that God. you have the parse. I know, I can't believe I'm explaining this. <laughs> Garf means, garse means that you have the parse, but maybe you don't have the answer. So you're like, okay, I'm pretty sure this is an anagram of this fodder, but I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> I, I would like and to then add. G. <laughs> okay, no, okay. G just at this point now in this universe with these new variations means that you both have it on a waf and you've parsed it. You have it fully. You yes. understand exactly what's happening yes. in the clue. Yeah. Uh, guaf and Garce were both invented by Joe Adultman, I believe. They are very. Yeah, right. They, these are not universally used uh, <laughs> terms. Very much niche. No. But. Yes. Yes. I enjoy them. Also, Steve has has won. Steve has it. Oh, amazingly. You know what? Honestly, that's Who really knew? Steve, do you do cryptics? No. <laughs> okay. Uh I have no idea what's going on here though. Unfortunately. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know if either of us know it. Okay. Uh one down. South of France, an African nation. And maybe, uh, I think I do have it. Yeah, I think I have it. I mean, oh boy. Good job, Saz. Good job, Zach. Yeah, nice job, everybody. And Kitty as well. I'm just waiting for everyone to, to see if they get it before I say anything, you know? Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what it is. Um, I mean, I assume African... Uh, oh. You said you have it, right? Mm-hmm. Is it Sudan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, sis. Uh, so <laughs> I see the Anne. Right. So South is just S, and then U D is that? No, I think no. in French, what is happening? Sud is means South, so it's just South oh, in Sud French. Sud means South. Got it. Okay. Okay. I think okay. So. Yeah. Nice. That well, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you, All Speed right. Tech. Speed Tech is in France and can confirm. Thank you. Um, all right. I mean, I still don't know this one. I would say I don't let's get crossers yeah. for one across. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's sure. Let's. Or we can do this. I'm just saying. I don't want to try it again. No, I'm. I'm with you. Without. A uh, yeah. Three down. People privately instructing flute players in audition. Okay. Flute players people uh, <laughs> I mean I guess G <laughs> uh. whoa um, Glenn has a clue take legal action against Bobka's caretaker in front of an audience in African nation Dan does not like it is that a cryptic clue Glenn and if so can we have a uh, an enumeration? Is that Sudan? Oh, it's Sudan. Wow. It's Sudan. <laughs> wow. How do you feel about that, Dan? Gee. 
Uh, okay, people privately instructing flute players in audition. All right, so it's a homophone. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to guess this. Am I right? Yep. Nice. People privately instructing flute players in audition. Oh, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Tutors. It's, it's goofy. And it's goofy. Uh, yeah. Very cute. Uh, people privately instructing are tutors. Flute players are tutors. T-O-O-T-E-R-S. In audition, mm-hmm. it's a homophone indicator. Uh, <laughs> me too. Okay, that's exactly Getting, what I thought. Trying to think of a homophone yeah. for flautists. Yep. All right. Nice. Um, well, here, let's try to get nine across. Yeah. Uh, nine across once again have reservations about Fort. Okay. Uh, have reservations once again. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh,. Is a flautist, F-L-A-U, just someone who eats a lot of flautas? Mm. Um, Okay. Once again, have reservations about fort. I mean, could be going around something that means fort. Yeah, or fort could be F-T. Same, Steve. Steve, we have so much in common. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm happy to move on. Yeah, I mean, I have, like, a word, but I don't know what it means. Okay, you want to just say it? I don't mind. Yeah, what does redoubt mean? I know it's a word. Once again, have reservations? Uh, I mean, about being re makes sense. So maybe it's just a word that means fort? But I don't know if it's maybe it's not redoubt. Once again, have yeah. reservations. Re. I don't know. <sighs> let's keep going, I guess. Huh. Okay, let's try eight down. Yeah. Muscle casually wrapped in wet rice paper. Ooh. Oh, um, I <laughs> muscle casually wrapped in wet rice paper. Oh, okay. G. Uh, <laughs> nice, Steve. Did you reheat them? Is the question. I'm taking that to mean that Steve just ate them straight out of the freezer. Um, I don't, hmm. Grr. Big mad. So mad. Wait, what? In cryptics, what makes you the most angry? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to skip this song. Boo in so many ways. Uh, All right. Uh, Oh, that's the death. Muscle. Casually. Mm-hmm. Is so the deaf tricep a casual word for the muscle? That's short for the actual muscle, right? Is that right? Tricepesius? I don't know. I actually don't know. It's not tricepesius. I don't think <laughs> you're thinking of trapezius. Tra- trapezius. I was I think? kind of joking. Yeah, oh. but you never know. Triceptor? What is? I don't know. 
but anyway, yes, it's it's a, it's a ding dang hidden. <laughs> oh, it's ding dang hidden in there. All Another right. Joe terminology. Mm-hmm. Tricer- You're gonna say say say. Yeah. By Sepatops. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's always right there in these hiddens, yet so yep. hard to see sometimes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to 11 across. Vanquished the capital of New Hampshire soundly? Soundly? Vanquished. Capital of New Hampshire... Soundly? It's the capital of New Hampshire. I don't know. I'm trying to remember oh. that too. Oh. Do you know what it is? Well, I think I remember what it is. Is it Dover? No, that's no. Maryland, right? Hmm. I mean, I th- the whole thing seems I like think a it's homophone. Concord. I don't actually know if oh, that's the capital, okay. but I know that's a place. In New Hampshire. Oh, Dan, I think, is reacting to you guessing Dover, being in New Hampshire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a Midwestern. Uh, but maybe okay. also I'm wrong that it's in Maryland. Is it not in Maryland either? Is it Delaware? <laughs> God damn it. Oops. They're all Wait, so small and smushed why together. Why wouldn't that okay? be a reaction to both of us, Dan? Please. Vanquished. God damn it, Kay. One for each. Thank you, Dan. Oh, okay. Vanquished. I understand it now. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to end in ED. <laughs> it's going to. So it's probably going to sound like Concord, right? Mm hmm. It's just a homophone. Right. It's, it's just hard to. Vanquished is con. Kurt. Oh. Yeah, conquered. Nice. Hi, Bob. I'm glad <laughs> you enjoy that. I do it just for you. Um, all right, 13 across. Young adult follows dad to get fruit. Gee. <laughs> Gee. Pa- papaya young adult is ya and it's following papa which means dad yeah nice nice easy peasy do they love guns there is that a thing the northeast is such an interesting little uh interesting place uh, uh okay. Well, let's keep going over here, get more crosses for number one, I think. Um, or here, let's two down. We have a couple of the letters. Uh tip of Ukraine, Russia Guiana, traveling South American. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, traveling? No, no, no. Well, maybe. Uh, okay, G. Yeah. Okay, G. Uruguayan. Uh, yeah. So we've got tip of Ukraine is U, Russia is R U, and then uh, Guiana traveling. Is an anagram mm-hmm. of Guiana, and we're left with South American. Okay, uh, this yep. sure Cute. is starting to look like redoubt. Yeah. I don't get for it I meaning know doubt. Redoubt is a well, but I'm saying maybe it's I don't yeah I don't get it. I don't remember what the definition of redoubt is if it really means to doubt again. That's what I'm right. But no one's giving us exclamation points. <laughs> so I'm well, assuming Redoubt is That doesn't wrong. always happen. That's true. Uh, well, 
Redoubt is a fort. Oh, okay. So what does redoubt mean? Does it truly mean once again have reservations about? Is that the meaning of it? Or is it one of those that sounds like it should mean a thing, but it doesn't actually mean that thing? Let's just look up the definition, if you don't mind, Dob. Sure. It's the latter. Uh, I kind of thought it was. What was the latter? What, what was the latter? That it doesn't said. actually mean stronghold, small, usually temporary, enclosed defensive work, uh, a defended position. So okay, like fort. Right. So it's so now, I think it's not just, the name of a fort. It's a fort. Okay, I get it. Now. Right. Okay. Right, right. I'm all caught up. Oh, were you confused because Bob capitalized it and that confused you? Yeah, that you? is. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I read it quickly. Yeah, I see that. And I didn't yeah. see is a fort it, or I didn't, I you didn't see, notice uh, the A. Yeah. Yeah. Redoubt is a fort. Yeah. This I mean, is like a punny. So once right. again, have reservations. Right. Um, and then fort. It's like a punny double death. Uh, right. All right. Four down. <laughs> How German of you, booby. It's all good. All right, foe down. Foe down. Okay. Poet's <laughs> video art arrangement. 4-4. Four, four. Okay, well, I see something. Oh, yeah. Go ahead if you want. Oh, no, I don't have first. the answer. I just see what's happening. No, I know what I'm sorry. What I meant was go ahead to DuckTales if you oh, want. Oh, okay. Video. I know you prefer that. I do. Video art. And it is. I'm going to spread it out. D is the fifth letter. I Let me just make sure that's the case. It is. So the first letter of the second word. Are we looking for the name of a poet? I can't remember. That's what I assume. It's poet is the fodder, yeah. I mean, it might... I wonder if it's somebody I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I don't know. Rufus, you know, a question I've had since I studied German in college is when people use capitalization to like make up phony um oh man how do i explain this uh to make up like to add emphasis to a word to make it falsely authoritative or something as a rhetorical device and it's a noun um, how does that get translated into German to mean the same thing when nouns are capitalized already? I'm not explaining it well, but it's something that's bothered me for a long time. I have hey, a understand. guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. I think I have it. Is it the name of a poet? Yeah. Or is it something more general? No, it's the okay. name of a poet. Go I think ahead, I'm, then. I assume it's someone you've heard of. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, read a dove. Nice. I think that's it. Oh. And it's just an anagram of video art. Arrangement being the indicator. Uh, uh, I know I keep going back to this because, huh, oh, I don't yeah. know. Let's keep, oh. Well, here, we. What are you saying? I'm mm. waiting for you to finish that statement. Well, I just realized we have like. The whole, all the help we're going to get with the first name. But yeah, I still don't know it. So, well, let's keep going. (sighs) 
Okay. I have a guess at the first word, but not the second. Yeah. Shudder, okay. probably. Yeah, because of the Because sh- of quiet with... Yeah. Oh, it must start with an S, because it says... Shudder... Oh, Sorry, because it says... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, it's plural, right? right. Utters. Right. Oh, I mm-hmm. think I have it? Really? What is what is it? Well, if the straight deaf is slatted sunglasses, I don't know this phrase, so I'm just guessing. Shutter shades or something? The, I mean, shades is what I'm thinking. Uh, right. I think Hades that's... maybe is a Disney villain. Yeah, I, mean, I think that. I think that. I think that's what? right. What movie is that from? Hades is certainly a villain <laughs> outside right, right, of Disney right. as well. Right. Um, oh, are these the sunglasses with like the like going across, oh, those, like, like the thing? Oh you know God. what I'm talking about, right? These are so like 2008 or something. Oh, Hercules, right? Okay, that makes sense. Wow, I haven't thought about these in a long time. Remember when they were really a thing? See, K, this is an example. Remember when they were a thing with a capital T? How would you say that in German? I feel <laughs> anyway, like they were very fine. much an 80s thing, but maybe I'm wrong. Were they just like oh, a maybe retro? Maybe they were and they came back. I don't know, yeah, but they definitely came back for a period of time. Yeah. Nice. We did it. Okay. Five mm-hmm. down. Uh... Overused air conditioner in hot southeastern state. Uh, Southeastern state. Overused air conditioner. Okay, well, I'm guessing... G. Hold on a second here. Oh, Macho Man also wore them in the 80s. You are correct. Yes, that's it. Uh, Zach, that's who I remember wearing them. Yes. Kitty, thank you for hanging out. Oh, it Kitty, yeah. It was to have you. Enjoy your dinner. It certainly was. Yes, enjoy your dinner. Uh, so... Overused must be the straight deaf, and I have AC going inside of H and then a southeastern state abbreviation. Is that yep. right? Absolutely. Uh, Do you want me to tell you where the AC goes? Sure. I mean, I know it's either here or here. Right. It's the second and third letters. This gets used in a very specific context, I feel, for overused. Overused. Oh, hacky. Mm-hmm. Nice. Fun. Kentucky. Overused. Oh, wow, I go back hacky. to the 1950s. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Hack Florida. Macho Man Randy Savage, alum of Downers Grove North High School. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Along with Denise Richards. Different time, but both of them went to that high school. Uh, ten across. Washing- Washingtonian guy who sells Mexican food? Okay. Cute. Also yum. Hey, Integral, how's it going? Uh, oh, I see, Zach. I see. Washingtonian guy who sells Aww. Mexican food? Honestly, what? it is so cute to know that we kept AP company during his farm chores. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh. I do like that as well. 
Um, how are how are the girls doing, AP? Everybody's good and happy. Are you treating them well, and are they doing the same in return? Washingtonian guy who sells Mexican food? Uh, I'm hungry too, AP. I know, this is making me want a certain type of food. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do you want a hint at any point? So you have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's... Oh, 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 Washingtonian is Tacoman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like from Tacoma and guy who sells Mexican food, Taco Man. That is very cute. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very silly. Mm, tacos. That's so funny, Steve, because that totally tracks with Paolo not putting a question mark and you adding a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Steve, before you came in, we were saying, or I was saying that... um I feel like you you and Paolo just feel intuitively like a really fun pair because I feel like Paolo has like such a free form kind of style in a way and you're so like focused on grammar and fairness in a very cool way and I could see you two pairing well together and I don't know. Yeah, I just... Fun stuff. Okay, shall we? Yep. 12 across. Fictional dinosaur following casual greetings... With a different casual greeting. Oh, Fictional dinosaur. Following casual greetings with a different casual greeting. Oh, Fictional yeah, yeah. dinosaur. Okay, oh, Yoshi, right? Who yeah. Who doesn't love Paolo? So, fictional dinosaur, and then following casual greetings are yo's, mm -hmm. with a different casual greeting is hi. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, six down. Uh, arcane tomes buried in menacing market. Four, five. Well, doesn't look like a hidden. <laughs> <sighs> I was just singing this song recently. Oh, I know you can hear it. Uh, arcane tone. Arcane. Oh, hey, Evan. Glad you're streaming this Paolo Cryptic. I thought 15A was especially inspired. Ooh, Ooh we're going to get well, there can't in a wait second. To get to I'm it. excited. It's great to see you, Evan. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? How are um, things? How is stuff? I mean, there's no Paolo puzzle we don't immediately want to do, to be honest. Uh, especially a Paolo cryptic, and especially one edited by Steve. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you, sorry, do you have this? Um, no. Okay. But I would... Da, 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 da. Is it an five. anagram, you think? Buried is too long, but tomes what? does appear to be in there. Arcane being the anagrind. Oh, tomes buried is what you're saying. Yeah, and, that's but too that long, would make though. that would make it is too long. Yeah, it is too long. Yeah, it could be buried inside menacing, and then mark it. Oh, like an anagram of tomes. Inside of a word that means a menacing. And then... Right. Okay, so... Yeah, I see the M and the S. Uh, menacing. Mark what could it. that be? Well, so this letter's not going to be... So M, S... And then T, O, E. It's not going to be a T... Maybe like demo like something? Market. Uh, 
Oh, gee. Okay. 19A is a banger clue, too. Well, can't wait to get that Ooh. one. That one also. Evan, how many how many cryptics or let me rephrase. How into cryptics are you? And do you ever construct them? Mm, excellent question. Uh, is it demo something? It's not. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> these letters Sad. can't Wait. be T. Sad. So, dome something? No. <clears throat> but that's closer. Uh, less. This okay. is like an old timey thing that doesn't probably exist anywhere. Anymore. I see. I see. Something. S- s- no. Yes. The way it's I broke into store? this was thinking about what. Yeah. Yeah. You can figure out where the anagram. Yeah. So yeah. this is going to be an E. Mm-hmm. Dime store. Yeah. Yeah, and dire. Okay, so dire is menacing, and then an anagram of tomes inside of that, and a dime. What exactly yeah. is a dime store? Like a five and dime? Is that the same? Is that yeah, mean the same thing? I think so. I feel like like in a practice, corner just store like a, or whatever. Yeah, like a bodega or like a little yeah, pharmacy, okay. and you know, it's more expensive than a five and dime. Oh, because yeah, you could get stuff for a nickel or a dime. Like a dollar store where everything's 90% off. Or now that the dollar store is a dollar 25 controversially. Dollar 25 store. Yeah. Um, okay, let's but go to seven really, depth. Oh. You know what I think about is visiting. There was there was an old like dime store still in operation. Um, I mean, I don't think you really. Things didn't cost a dime, but. When I visited my family, when I used to visit my family in Santa Fe on the um, on the plaza, there was still a dime store that was called that. But I, so there might be some still lingering around, but I don't know. Nice. At least in name only. I don't solve as many cryptics as I should. They take me a lot more effort to finish than regular crosswords, which is probably true for most people. I would assume so. But I always enjoy, except for Liari, <laughs> but I always enjoy the aha moments I get from them. I've only written one cryptic for publication. Oh, cool. Very neat. Um, yeah. They're hard to make. Glenn, you do too? Yeah, some people do. Yeah. Okay, let's try seven down. Yep. Uh-oh. What? Let's try seven down. Why'd you say uh oh, Oka Spooner? Yeah. Uh <clears throat> oh, oh, oh Jesus. do you need to get okay, that? Just a okay. second. Yeah, yep. one second. I will wait for Momes, of course. This in excess banger. This is a song I've done at karaoke many times. Fun fact. No, that was a buzzer. Like <laughs> it's an apartment buzzer, you know, right. like a door buzzer. It's a horrible sound. <laughs> uh, but I'm just happy to have one. My last well, actually, no, this place, the buzzer was broken for years and it finally got fixed recently. Um Okay. Wow, AP, rude. They were lucky. <laughs> what was I'll your have pick? You know, the song that's playing is Never Tear Us Apart in Excess. Oh. Here comes the sax. Uh, okay, Spooner's Run, Size... Is something that happens every morning. Gee. Yeah. So it's sunrise and then run size. Yep. Oh, it's literally written right there. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Okay. Duh. Right. Run size. That's right. The rare spooner that just gives you the the things right there. 
How nice. How kind. Uh, all right. Let's go to 15 across. Mm-hmm. Uh, mistakenly remove red unfinished album by Taylor Swift. Mistakenly remove red unfinished album by Taylor Swift. Okay. So it's eight letters. I don't know. Oh, you know what I think is happening? I don't have the mm-hmm. answer, but I think I know the parse. Gars. Okay. I don't know if you want me to say it or not. Yeah. Well, I keep thinking over road, but that's the wrong tense. Okay, well, yeah, I don't again, I don't think. have the answer. Okay. I was just going to say, say the parts. Okay, go ahead. I'm assuming it's an anagram of remove R-E. Oh, okay. Or just an anagram of remove, and then it ends in R-E, which is red unfinished. That's probably actually more accurate. But I don't, again, I don't know. Oh, okay, well... Is mom's deciding whether or not to allow you to say Gars. You know what? I we she was were deciding on a something. Voice. <laughs> Gars is a, a pretty unfortunate word, I will say. Like to say, as is guaf. Uh, I mean, they're kind of nice, but kind of also not. But um, no, I don't know what I'm doing ever in life. Okay. So. Well, I think I have the answer. Okay. I don't know this to be a fact, but it is a word. Okay. That fits. Is it over something? No. Okay. There's only one O. And oh, it's already oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So evermore, I'm guessing. Yeah. Is that? And it's just an anagram. Yeah. I think it's just an anagram of remove followed by RE, which is red unfinished. Why is Red Keg thanking me? I don't know. Who knows? Me either. Um, oh, weird. You would think that, Kay. Um, but it is a great clue. Uh, all right. 18. Nats flying around ant motionless. Mm. Okay, I have a guess on... Oh. Okay. I Is it an anagram of gnats going around ant? Um No. Okay. Close, but no, not. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will support it. No matter what, if Joe made it, I will support it. That's just a fact. 100%. No offense, yeah, Red Cake. But <laughs> I get it. Also, there. you know what? You're not alone. I have heard some chatterings. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> but no, I mean, I will 100% support Joe and whatever, whatever he does. But um, I also understand. Okay. Is the straight deaf motionless? Mm-hmm. Bob, it just means gotta waff. Sent. And waff is just, I figured out the answer without knowing the parse. Like Wheel of Fortuning it. Right. Or words uh, of friending it. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, does ant go in the middle here like this? It doesn't. No, that's the part. You have everything right except for 
that part. Oh. There's no container here. There's not? There's not. I thought there was at first, too. Okay, so it just ends in ant, then? So it's a it's an anagram of gnats in front of ant. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stagnant. Yes. Gnats flying around. So gnats being anagrammed. Ant. And you're left with stagnant, which is motionless. Joe lurking for all this conversation about Guaf and Gars. Joe, as you heard, we will support you in all neologisms. Um, That's just facts. All right. Okay, 19 across. <clears throat> oh, funny. Gnat or ant infestation? Simple. Cut all their wings. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Neogeoisms, even better. Steve, thanks for popping in. Yeah, good to see you, Steve. Nice thanks editing, for editing I'm sure. this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. S- simple. Oh wait. Uh, no. Simple. Okay, Slug says this was the hardest one for her. And she still doesn't really get the parse. Oh, cut all their wings. Nat or ant. Maybe that's the straight death. Yeah, I think it is. But. Oh, okay. maybe. G. No, I see it. It's not cut is part of the fodder. Mm -hmm. Insect. So gnat or ant is the straight definition. Infestation, simple, cut, all their wings. So I-N-S-E-C-T. Very good. I'm sad that Steve popped out right before this one because I'm curious... All their wings. I would just like to hear Steve explain this one. Oh. I don't know. To me, it seems straightforward. I guess, to me, like, it does. Seems straightforward. The the wings of the words, you know, like the left and the right. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's mostly the wording here. All their wings versus wings. That's the part that I'm. I, I understand oh, the device. I think I it's guess. just. Yeah, I guess it's just making it a little f- more fair, saying all their wings as opposed to like CT only. Yeah. Right. I don't. I'm. I no. I'm not complaining about it. I just. I feel like Steve is a stickler for things, and I feel like you think it makes it clearer that it all applies. It applies. Yeah, to that's what I was. Okay. That's hmm. what I just said. I think so. And I assume that's probably. Yeah. It's just indicating multiple words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 20 down. Beer bottled in explosive facility. Okay. Okay. G. Cute. Talent. So beer is ale and it's bottled in explosive is TNT. Facility is talent. Cute. Very Very nice. nice. Smooth as butter so far. All right. 18 down. Significant other wants to give up $1,000 for ultimate in game consoles. Oh. I don't have it yet. No, me either. Uh, Ultimate and game consoles maybe is the... Or maybe (laughs) game consoles. 
is the straight def. I don't know. Turbo Graphics 16, am I right? Atari 5200, anybody? That was my first. Uh, I don't, I don't have it. I don't know if you want to talk through it or go yeah. move on or what. Well, I'm just thinking 1000 can be K or what's the other thing it can be? Or is it just K? Do you remember? I think it's it can be K, G right? or K, oh, but I G. think it's usually, yeah, yeah. I have it. So I have a guess that significant other might just be S O at the beginning. It could be, yeah, for sure. Um, but then, so this has to be a game console? Or I guess it could just be consoles and it ends with ultimate and game, which is E. So maybe it's oh, significant other yeah. is. I don't know about S consoles, o. though, being something that ends in E, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or it could also be. It could also be consoles. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Uh, yeah. I mean, it could but also I be. Think... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I was I gonna say to give up could be losing, or sorry, wants. A word for wants could be like seeks giving up a K, or a word with a G giving up a G. To give up one thousand dollars seems like getting rid of a yeah. G or a K. Um, sure. Okay. And yeah, for ultimate and game consoles, the way that reads for kind of it makes it sound like the straight def is going to be ultimate and game consoles, but that feels weird to me as a definition, well, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I said that at first game and consoles. then I thought maybe for ultimate, I guess that would be for ultimately would be the R of four. Right, right. <sighs> ultimate and game seems, I don't know. Let's keep going. Hi, Hello, Will. Will. Hello, Nora. Hi, Nora. Oh, weird. The two of you would come in at the same time. All right. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Uh, Glee cheerleader in part. A real sucker? G. Yeah. Also G. Didn't get us this time. Nope. <laughs> Never fall for something twice. <laughs> Uh, good job. It's a it hidden. is a hidden glee cheerleader in part. That's a hidden indicator. A real sucker is a <laughs> Look leech. at these two. Weird coincidence. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going. 26 yeah. across. Donut stuffed into fried cronut. It's fried bread. Huh. <laughs> So okay, so six. So that looks right. Yeah. And I an O going in. All right. Cronut yeah. with an O. Oops. Oh, G. So Cronut with an O. Fried bread. Oh, gee. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Crouton. Oh, oh where are you I'm typing not that? Typing. I don't know. <laughs> Nowhere, it turned out. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cute. 23 down. Request in a casino after hands start. Time out. 3-2. Okay, well, I see hands start. Request mm -hmm. in a casino. I do G this one. Time <laughs> out? You ever just choke on nothing? 
Yeah, all the time, actually. Wow. Um, time out? <laughs> Dom just said crouton in Slack to their colleagues. Nice. I don't know. I can't figure this out. Time is time out the straight def? It is, right? No. Out is the straight def? Wrong side. Oh, it's hit me. Mm -hmm. So after hands start, which is H, time anagrammed. Hit me. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, this one. Wow. I have no idea. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. Let's do oh. 14 down. Okay. Oh, you have it? Is that what's happening? No, no, I just wanted to... No, I just wanted to look at it for a second. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I mean, I do have it now, actually, yeah. Okay. I don't have Can you just tell stuff. me what the straight def is? Is it game consoles? No. Is it consoles? Mm-hmm. And it is it actually consoles or consoles? I think it's consoles. I have to parse it though. So it ends in an S, I assume. Uh-huh. Solaces, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So significant other wants to give up one thousand dollars for Ultimate? Yeah. Wait. So wants is lax and it's giving up a K. Oh, give up K. Okay. It was For training, ultimate. Actually, it looks like. Yeah. In game. Yep. Cool. Yep. There we go. Okay. We got it. In um, okay. Oh, well, God. <laughs> Are you waiting for AP to say something right now? Is that what you're doing? I was waiting for some something. Um, okay. okay, 14 down. Um, actually, do you mind if I just take like five minutes? No, no, not at all. Do you want to? I'd rather me not rush through the rest of this. Uh, if you want to control, sure. I'll yeah, let so me, here, let me just yeah, share with me and then I'll bring it up. I'll I just need to give Stella game. food, but it. Takes me a few minutes these days. Yes. Okay, one second, one second. Ta. Our special Stella girly. Yep. Okay, you see my screen? Mm. It doesn't have anything on it because I haven't pulled anything up, but it's just a window. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me bring it up for chat. My hands are small. What do people want to do? You want to do a sporkle? You want to do a... um? Very nice. <laughs> 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 I can't hear it when you guys do that. So. All right. You, but it does make me chuckle. Yeah. You are in control. I will be back. Cool. Okay. Um, do people want to do a sporkle with me or do guess my word or what would you like to do? Do you, uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to share with me? I'd love to hear about how you're doing. Do you want me to just go away? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. I'm just going to look at sparkles. Guess your letter. Joe, that one's only for emergencies where you're not in control of the screen and you're trying to help someone else out. Now I have the internet, so we don't need to guess my letter. We can do something else, I think. Um, what else? I mean, if you really want, Joe. What about a movie thingy? Should we? Okay. Badly drawn movies? Sure. Let's do that for a little bit. I do like the whole badly drawn thing. I think it's kind of fun. 
guess two letters? Okay. Here we go. Everybody guess before we start doing badly drawn. Guess the two letters I'm thinking of. Joe, you start. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I considered N-O, Joe, but I ultimately decided not to think it. But you get a half a point for knowing that I might consider it. Um, I'm going to say no. Order doesn't matter. I'll give it to anyone who gets any combination. Aw, Geo! <laughs> Someone please guess it. It's not VW. It's not two Fs. Nope, nope, nope. Glenn, you have one of the two letters. I'm going to make it a little easier. Glenn has identified one of two. Kay has also identified one of two. Interesting. Slug, I can't tell if those are I's or L's. Same to you. <laughs> Rich also has one of two letters. You should know by now what one of the letters is. Rich also has one of the letters. So does Slug. So does Eve. So does Rich. Still nothing. Still no one has gotten both. Yes, one of them is I. Joe really didn't want to do sparkle, did he? <laughs> No one's gotten it yet. It's not IQ. How has no one gotten it yet? Okay, you got it. Hi. Hi, Rich. Yes, the two letters. I was thinking of were H and I in that order. Hi. H I. Mm hmm. You cheated a bit. Did you hack into my brain? How did you cheat? <laughs> uh, all right, let's do. Badly drawn movies, 1990s. Oh, wait, actors to badly drawn movies? When given two actors in a year, can you pick the badly drawn representation of the title of the movie they made this year? K is a mod. Oh, Joe, thank you for the bits. Is it 40 because of a recent randomly selected number of hours that you streamed for? Change the light. Rufus, I'm sorry, I, I'm not in control, so I can't change the light. I mean, I can't control the overlays and stuff. Just this screen. Oh, my God. Also, yikes. Why is the Fremont troll in your ad? <laughs> it is? Is this? I have visited the Fremont troll. Perhaps it's doing some sort of something. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's do practice mode. So do people understand we're going to get two actors in a year and you're going to have to pick the badly drawn representation of the title of a movie they made that year? You have two, Slug? I mean, Joe? Oh, we've been in the same place. Wow. You never know, Joe. Maybe. Who knows? 
Um, this was in uh, maybe 2018, 2019. Were you there? Were you there, Joe? Wow, fun slug. I wish I knew you at that time. I would have popped over to your house, slug, and promptly been turned away, probably. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would not. Uh, yeah, anyway. What are they talking about? These movies are drawn great. Um, frankly, I agree. All right, let's play the quiz already. I'm just chatting. Okay, George Clooney, Ice Cube, 1999. We just started the quiz. <laughs> Three Kings. Okay. Down here. All right. Good job. Gwyneth Paltrow, Judy Dench, 1998. Gwyneth Shakespeare Paltrow, Judy Dench. Maybe. Okay. All right. Brandon Lee and Rochelle Davis, 1994. Crow. Um, Dob, think of two letters, please, says Glenn. Please think of two letters. All right, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. I don't think you're supposed to say them out loud. Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, 1995. Anybody? Friday. Friday. Mm, Where's that? Oh, right there. Um, good job, Tacho. Good job, Booby. Andy McDowell and Hugh Grant, 1994. Four weddings and a funeral. Is it the rip? Oh no, I clicked too fast. I see. Wait, it now. what'd you click? I clicked the rip. I didn't see that there was a more accurate representation oh. up here. Okay, Elizabeth Berkeley and Gina Gershon, 95, Showgirls. Okay. Ta da. Uh, restart. Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, 97. Second Men to last Black. one. Yep. Thank you. John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Face off. The Galaxy Defenders. Top row. Which one is it? No, it's the third row, middle. This one? Oh, face off. Wow. All right, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt. That's seven. Okay. Where's that? Right there. Where? The one you're on. Oh, yeah. The one that says seven. Yeah. Got it. All right, Bruce Willis and Mila, her. Jovovich. Yeah. Yes. I think it's Jovovich. <laughs> Fifth uh, element. Fifth element. Cute. Yep. <laughs> Jason Biggs and Eugene Levy. American Pie. Mm-hmm. Francis McDormand and Steve Buscemi. Fargo. Mm-hmm. Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Is this The Rock? Oh, yeah, that's supposed now, to be the rock. the rock. It is badly drawn. Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. No one's going to know this one. Second row, third over. Yeah, we know. Demi Moore and Whoopi Goldberg. Ghost. Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. Pretty Woman. Is this supposed to be a pretty woman? Fair enough. Uh, Robin Williams and Nathan Lane, 96. The Birdcage. Third row. Where is it? First one in the third there row. It is. I wish these like were more differentiated when they were like already chosen. Uh, Michael Jordan and Bill Murray, 96. Last one in the first row, Space Jam. Last one in the first row. Go oh, cute. Um, Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Tombstones. I think somebody said predicted that earlier. Whoops. Yep. 
Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze in 91. Point break. Cute. The end. Fun. All right. All right. If you want to go back to controlling dub, okay. you feel free. Okay. I'm still sharing with you. You'll just have to click on the... Yeah, let me click over. Okay, I see it. Okay. All right, I let's continue with 14. I want to go back to controlling Dob. <laughs> what does that mean? I like it. <laughs> uh, all right, 14 down. Panel mm -hmm. assembled to name small celestial body. Um, I wonder if I know this word. I mean, I have most of it, but I don't have the last part. Yeah, I'm wondering if... Yeah. Okay, so it's planet something. Right. Planet... So then panel is accounted for, and then... Two could two. just be two, and then name. Oh, maybe name is oh, ID. Oh, planetoid. Oh. Yes. Planetoid? Name is yeah. ID. Yep. Mm -hmm. It could have been planetons. <laughs> I mean, yes. It can that's, always be planetons. That's how I get my exercise. I ride my planeton. <laughs> I, this was, well, I just had a bubble in my throat. This was, um, and I'm trying to take off a hair tie. Wow, oh, ouchie. Thanks, Kay. Uh, do you ever just need to, like, really scratch your head after having your hair up in a ponytail? Anyway, um, I was thinking someone should make Planetoni a thing. Like a Panatoni, but it's... Planetoni, but it looks like a planet? Shaped like planets, yeah. That's a fun idea. Yeah. Feel free, anyone. It's a real Shark Tank moment here on Crossword TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tacho, yeah, great point. For that makeshift. Oh, thank you. You know what? I was like, actually, I was very proud of myself for that. There's nothing worse than doing a yoga class with your hair just flipping and flopping every which way, you know? So kind of a genius, you know? Don't like to say it about myself, but that was pretty smart. Good job, moms. Yeah, thank you. Uh, all right, 17 down. Up and coming ska band hiding name and sources of personal information. Okay. Up and coming ska band hiding name and sources of personal information. My guess is sources of personal information is going to be the straight death. And an N is going inside of. Do I have to know ska bands? <laughs> well, up and coming must be an indicator for something. Right. Well, going going upward. Although um, reversal. Maybe up and coming is a straight deaf, actually. And it's a ska band hiding an N. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm not I'm not seeing this one. Okay. I do like Planetoni for orbular pasta. <laughs> That's a nice booby. Uh, okay, 21 down. <laughs> nice said to girl. Uh, calm a kid. Oh, it's 2-4. Uh, okay. Calm a kid. Home, a kid. 
Um, it's either going to end in or begin with an A. I feel. It does feel that way, yeah. Hmm. Um, Mm. Oh, gee. Which side is the straight death on? The left. Home. Is calm not a verb? It's an adjective? Yes. <clears throat> oh yeah okay i see it now at ease at <laughs> ac ease. so we've got an a and then tease is kid and you're left with mm-hmm. that ease very good 27 across yeah. singer and general at war two five Bye, Booby. Thanks for hanging out. See you, Bob. Singer or Singer Mm -hmm. and General at War. G. At war. Singer. Oh, is it Al Green? Mm hmm. So, it's an old singer. Anagram. And then general at war is just an anagram of general. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 25 down. Demanding attention regularly once per day. I got this, but I don't understand the end. Yeah. I guess just a linking word. I would agree that's a little superfluous. It's not necessarily needed. Yeah, I think it's needed for the surface. But yeah, it's just linking in this case. Uh, demanding attention regularly once per day. Oh, gee. Once per day. Oh, oh. Yeah. Needy. I was just so trying it's... to find the every other letter of demanding attention for a second there. Yeah, that's what I tried Were first. Were you doing the same thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then realized it was too long. Uh, mm-hmm. So every other letter of once per day. N-E-E-D-Y. Very good. I have to say that I love this find. I love finding out that needy is <laughs> every other letter of once per day and then... Yeah. Right, that's fun. Making it about, yeah, that's, I like it. Okay. 24 across. Lana of DC Comics with one shot to flip Beacon for a superhero. Uh Uh-oh. Um... I just feel like I'm not going to know this, but I don't know. Um, Lana of DC Comics with one shot. To okay. Flip Beacon. Hi, Shock. 
Nice to see you. Um. Um. So Lana Lang, I think, is her name in Spider Man. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So I'm wondering that's if that's cool. flipping somehow. I mean, it looks like it could fit. Maybe the whole thing is flipping. But a G here seems sort of strange, right? But maybe not. Oh, no, I see what it is now. So do I. Bat signal. Yeah. Okay. I had to know multiple DC comic things yeah i was um, gonna okay so know. so one lang stab. one and then shot is stab mm-hmm. yep to flip go backwards mm-hmm. beacon for a superhero nice yeah cute uh 16 down celebrating the arrival of famous dog Replacing coattails with dog tails? Celebrating the arrival of famous dog. I mean, G. But I haven't parsed it yet. Okay. Famous dog. Famous dog. Replacing coat tails with dog tails. tails. Oh. Uh. Wow, that's clever. I don't. I don't see what exactly what's I don't is celebrating the arrival of the straight definition. Yeah. I <clears throat> Oh, is it Rin Tin Tin? Yeah. But ringing in. Yeah. That's wow. So Rin That's a Tin really cool Tin. Catch. Yeah, wow. So replacing the T's with G's, the coattails mm-hmm. with dog tails. Yeah, what a find. Fun. Yeah, that's really impressive. I that doesn't surprise me that that Paolo would spot something like that though, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, okay. Second to last one. 17 down. Oh, wait, no, we looked at this. So let's go to this long one. Uh Euphoria actresses' characters can all be found in Wendy's. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cute. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I have a guess. Okay, G. Okay, it's it's gonna be. Is it Sydney Spenny or something? That's it's, close. It's the Euphoria actress, right? Yes. I mean, she? I can just put it in. Yes, good job. Okay. So Wendy's. It's a. Well, it's but, not. But I don't. Whoa, wait. No, I think Maybe Sydney's it's Sydney like y. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Another nice. cool find. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Wow. A letter Has bank. anyone informed Sydney Swendy, Sweeney that her name is a letter bank for Wendy's or vice versa? Sydney. Or has anyone <laughs> notified Sydney Swendy as well? <laughs> Either of them. Right. Mm-hmm. Just one day. Um, Okay, 17 Thank down. You, Thank you. Back to this. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. Up and coming ska band hiding name. Uh, 
sources of personal information. Oh, gee. I don't have the parts yet, though. Okay. Let's see here. Up and coming ska band. Oh. I mean, is. <sighs> Oh, this one's I'm deceptively simple in a way. I'm guessing it must be. Do you have it? Yeah. So there's a K here, right? Mm hmm. So there's Ska. Mm hmm. Oh, it's literally Ska band going up, mm -hmm. hiding N. Mm hmm. DNA banks. Wow. Yeah. Another nice find. GG. Totally. I didn't see how much time it took hey. us. But doesn't we did matter. It. DNA banks. So ska band going up. This N is for name. Very mm -hmm. nice round of oh, yeah. applause. Um a terrific puzzle by Paolo. Mm -hmm. Nicely edited by Steve. Um, okay, let's finish with the B. Yes, let's do it. Uh, green light, everybody, as usual. <laughs> Integral, whenever you're ready to break out that clue, you just let us know. Or don't, just do it and we'll solve it for Ona Linfo. Kindlings, <laughs> whoa, and Inklings. And kindling and inkling. Kindlings, plural, did not come up. Okay. Inkling, Inklings. Inklings. Yep. Slinking. Slinking. Link. Inking. Links. Oh, and wait. linking. Link. Links. Linking. Linking. Uh, okay. Killing. Kill. Kills. Killings. Yeah. Sling. Slings and slinging. Wow. Liking Sill. and likings. Gill no and gills. Okay. Um, skill and skills. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, linking and linkings. Yeah, we got. Uh, looks like we have those ones. Okay, silk yeah. and silks. Skin and skins. Skink oh, no, it needs an L. Skinks. Oh, okay. Yep. As does that. Uh, kill and yep. killing, we have skill, skills. We have those. Oh, we have those ones. Okay, dink. Nope, doesn't have an L. Lining and linings. Red tag have... with the dink. I don't think you got the reference. No, I didn't. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, sill and sills. Got those. You got those ones. Kiln and kilns. Mm. Nice tacho. Did you get that? Yep. Yep. Guild. Are you caught up or something? Am I just reading old ones now? I guild, think I'm caught up, but I don't know. G I L D. Okay. And then guilds. Guilds. Uh huh. Disliking. Oh, oh. Nice. Pangram. Um, slick and slicks. Oh wait, no C. Sorry. No C. It says no licks either. Lids. Yep. Gilding. Oh, slid. Ah. Mm -hmm. Gilding. Yes. Idling. Nice. Dill and dills. Yep. Okay. Gliding. No gliding. Is that a reference to AB? Please stop gliding on that pond. No, I think he Gills? read it as gilding, and oh, Red oh, is oh. saying no, it's gliding. Uh, it, gills, it. we have. Ills. Did you get? Yep. Did you just get now. sliding? Uh, no. Okay, no. Have it. Diddling. Ooh. 
Hmm. Nil, N-I-L-L. I think it's with one L. Ilks. Nope. Okay. Um, now that the chat's going more slowly, I'll start looking up. Slinks, good job, read? Rich. I think listen is spelled differently, but I will try it. Sidling. Oh, no. Singling, as in singling out. Very good. All right, four more. L O L O L O L L M A O. Ha ha ha. O M G. We're missing this eight letter one. Giggling. Good one. Very good. Lings. Gigglings. Okay, three more, uh, but 21 points. So at least one of them is going to be a long guy. Probably two. Oh, lining and linings. There you go. So All right. one more. How long An eight-letter word. Okay. Oh, niggling. Yep, there it is. There you go. Good job. Good job. Very good, everybody. Tiny hand claps. We did it. Fast and it was. Very good job. I think the S always yeah. helps. Um, mm. Thanks for hanging, everybody. Uh, yeah. We'll be back tomorrow night. Late one, as usual mm -hmm. on Fridays. Uh, let's see. Let's see who's... Uh, Uh, I don't see I don't think anyone's anyone doing crosswords. Doing crosswords. Yeah. Uh, you know, Vertsky just finished one, so let's just raid Vertsky. Yeah, Vertsky's doing lookup hour. We love Vertsky. Yeah, Vertsky is the best. Um, oh, yeah. say hi to Vertsky. Make sure you give her a follow if you don't already. Uh, Hope to see you tomorrow or soon. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.